Well, did you know that the oldest living artist with his work in the Smithsonian once lived right here in Altaloma? We take a look back at the wonderful work of Stan Maloof. The spectacular home that Sam Maloof crafted for his wife Alfreda and their family remains in Alta Loma as a museum and home of the Sam and Alfreda Maloof Foundation for Arts and Crafts. With pieces in some of the most prestigious museums in the world, it's hard to believe that right up to his passing, Sam had a hard time acknowledging how good his work was. Well, I never knew if I was good enough. I still... Uh, Every time I make a piece, even now, after 67 years, uh, and everything that I make is on commission, uh, I wonder if the client is going to like it. And I hope they like it. And people did like Maloof's work. The furniture that Sam created started when he married his wife, Alfreda. You see, the young couple had very little money or furniture, so Sam went to work. I made uh, furniture out of whatever I could find scrap wood, wood that was damaged and all. And uh, uh, several people approached me and wanted furniture, and I didn't know if I should do it or not. But my job as a graphic artist, and uh, Frida said, we, we can do it, Sam. We really can do it. And with her encouragement and her love, I quit my job and started making furniture. Sam's work was so impressive, it drew a lot of attention, first from other young married couples, then celebrities, and all the way up to presidents, all wanting a piece of furniture from Maloof. Everything from rocking chairs to tables. Maloof says that President Reagan may have described his work best. I went to Washington um, and met them, and it was presented to President. And I remember he said, I just didn't know that people made things like this by hand anymore. In the year 2000, when the 210 freeway was extended into Rancho, it forced the relocation of the historic residence. The home was moved to a new six-acre site piece by piece and preserved as a museum. Now, Maloof's love of wood and design is what makes the museum so incredible. It's all of Maloof's heart and soul in one building. Entering the museum almost feels like returning to a bygone era, and people continue to come from all over to see Sam's work at the museum. And while Sam passed away in 2009 at the age of 93, he continued working right up to his death. I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living.